Framer plugins are the best way to power up your Framer site with functionality that isn't included in the box. From design power ups to adding functionality like e-commerce, today I'm gonna share with you my top 10 favorite plugins of all time in Framer, the ones that I just cannot live without. Let's go. Okay, so the first plugin I wanna share with you is called Visual Electric. And you can essentially think of it as like Unsplash or Pexels or one of those open source uh, photo libraries but using AI. So that sort of quality of imagery, but you can actually get exactly what you're looking for. So for example, here we have a picture of a woman and I've, this is just a photo from Unsplash, by the way. And she's kind of pointing to this board here. So maybe I could do something a little bit more specific. So I could say uh, a woman dressed in neutral tones, pointing to a whiteboard with a chart on it in a boardroom. So pretty specific, right? And then if I click on create, you'll notice just within a few seconds here, it's going to start generating some of those images for me. Boom, and just like that, we have a couple of really great stock photo options that are completely unique and generated with AI. So you don't have to worry about licenses. So then I can just drag that there onto my canvas and resize it to wherever I want it to be. Again, a really cool tool for generating stock photos quickly that are royalty free. Okay, so next is the Remove Background plugin. So if I select an image on my canvas and if we go to plugins and we just look for the Remove Background plugin, what it will do is actually automatically using AI once again, remove that background. So we can have more control over how we want to manipulate this image. So if we just let it do its thing, you notice it has now changed it so it has a completely transparent background image. So now I might want to increase the Z index here and I could make it kind of overflow some of my text here. So yeah, super simple plugin, but again, really powerful and you don't have to use another tool like Photoshop or Figma's AI background removal to get this sort of effect. You can do it all inside of Framer. Okay, so next up is Frameship, which is a plugin that lets you build Shopify stores in Framer, yes, Finally, e-commerce, it's probably the number one most requested thing for Framer. And now it's finally here within plugin format. Like all these actually use Frameship components to add this e-commerce functionality to your website. And it's really, really easy to do. You just kind of open the plugin, you go to the section that you wanna add. Let's say I want to add a cart in here. I can add my cart. And then if I open this component here, you notice we've got the ability to customize everything and connect it to our CMS, which is basically the magic behind making all of this work. So if we go to the CMS here, you'll notice we have this synced collection to Frameship, which is actually connected to your Shopify store. So how it works is when you open the Frameship plugin, you can actually go through the process of syncing your Shopify store to the Framer CMS. And that's what Frameship does. And that means all your data is stored over to Framer and then you can design your e-commerce store just like any other Framer project. So yeah, really, really powerful. And people are already creating some really, really cool templates and projects using Frameship, as you can see. Okay, if you've ever wanted to connect an external database to Framer's CMS, I'm gonna show you how. So, so some common ones are using like Google Sheets, Notion, Airtable, all three you can do here. But for this example, I wanna show you how you can connect Google Sheets to your Framer CMS. So if you go to the CMS view inside any Framer project, click on plugins and then find Google Sheets. You notice that you can create a new synced collection. So we'll just call this Google Sheets. Now you will have to authenticate yourself with Google, but once you've done that, you can actually just copy the public link of your spreadsheet and then select the sheet that you want to specifically use and click on next. And you'll notice it will actually pull all the columns from my sheet and I can set how I'm going to sync this into my CMS. So once I'm happy with all this, I can click on import. And just like that, I've copied all of my data over from Google Sheets, which I can use just like any other CMS in Framer to display it on the canvas. Essentially, anytime I update my Google Sheet, I just need to go back to Framer, press on sync manually. And then you'll notice we've got the updated data here. 
Okay, let's move on to another plugin now. Now this one's a little bit different because it's actually a project management tool built specifically for your Framer projects. So if you open the Note Frame plugin, now this will already look a little bit familiar, but it's essentially Trello inside of Framer. So instead of just like pinning comments randomly, you can actually have comments that actually have more control. So for example here, let's say I wanna give some feedback on my project that I'm collaborating with some team members. And I wanna say that we need to update this copy here to be something different. If I select any frame on the canvas, I can go create task and I can give it a title and description. So I might say update text and I'm gonna put in what the text should say. Replay the best of front row 2025. Cool, and I'm gonna set this to be a high priority and the status is, hasn't started yet. I can also select a due date, so I need this done by the end of the week. And I can also add my team members to this project as well. So I'm going to assign this to Georgia and I'm gonna create that task. And you'll notice that all my comments and tasks are saved in the plugin here and I can filter these from different due dates and everything like that. And then as soon as the task is done, I can just tick it off and it's all done. Again, a really cool Framer plugin if you're working with a part of a team. Okay, now let's talk about Framer Forms. Now, by default, Framer has their custom form solution and you know, it's pretty good, but let's say we wanna do something more or we want more different inputs than just say a normal text input or a dropdown. What I could do is open the plugins tab and go to Framer Forms, which is essentially a power up library for your forms in Framer. So you can do things like multi-step forms and logic. You can even connect Google Analytics so you can track how your forms are performing, pun intended. But in addition to that, you can add a lot of different input fields and this integrates directly with your existing frame of forms. So even if you wanna add a file upload component here, it's really simple. All you gotta do is drag it in and then just change the styling to be however you want. I might want to add a phone number field, which will verify the actual phone number that's being used. I could even add a NPS score in here. Let's change the styling of this and let's make it, it goes from one to five. So you can see quite quickly here how we can actually build pretty powerful forms inside of Framer using a plugin like Framer Forms. So next up is Compa, which is a component library for Framer and it's essentially like building your Framer site with Lego blocks. So if I press on build here inside the Compa plugin, you notice I've got all these different sections that I can choose from, from galleries, call to actions, contact forms, even navigations or banners. So let's say I want to add a new content section to my website. I can simply just select the section that I want. So maybe I want this bento looking grid here and we can just insert that block and you'll see just like that with literally nothing at all. I've already added that section, which I can customize. So you can imagine how quick you can actually build your website using a tool like this. And then obviously tweaking the styling is pretty easy too. So if I go back to the Compa plugin, I can go down here to styles and I can set all of my styles here, even my text styles. So then I can quickly customize my components based on this information here. Now, if I go to the insert menu here and search on for icons, you'll notice there's a few different icon libraries here, which are pretty good out of the box, but let's say I wanna use some more. What I can do is go to my plugins and search for Iconify and open this up. And now you'll notice we've actually got a list of heaps of different icon packs and libraries that we could use. So for example, if I want to use the Tabler icons, which is our personal preference for icon libraries, we can just search for any sort of icon here. So we might search for a user. And then I can select the icon that I want to use and just drag it in like so. I can change the color. I can do basically whatever I want. Essentially, it's just a massive library of icons that are free to use inside your Framer project. So the next plugin I wanna show you is called Shader Gradient. And essentially what it allows you to do is create these really cool gradient backgrounds without any hassle at all. So you can notice I can just kind of click through into I find one that I want. And then once I find something that looks kind of cool, so this one's looking pretty good, I can just add that to my canvas. 
And then you'll notice we've got all these different controls that we can use to tweak this. So maybe we wanna change the colors here. So maybe we want something that's a little bit more blue. Maybe we wanna change the shape and the speed at which this is going. Maybe make it a little bit slower and maybe we make the strength of the noise here a little bit more. And then I can basically add this to my framer project. So we might wanna put it behind this asset here. And then if we set the width to be 100% and the height to be 100 as well, set that to absolute and make that centered. You'll now notice with literally zero effort, we can create these really cool looking effects inside our framer site. Okay, and plugin number 10 that I wanna show you is called Authenti, which lets you add authentication and membership sites to your Framer project just by drag and drop. So if you open the Authenti plugin here, similar to all the other plugins that have functionality included, you can essentially have these drag and drop components that add power ups and functionality to your website. So for example, our product Framer Forms, we use this to power the whole Framer Forms experience. So when someone signs up, we can add a sign up form here and then we can add protected pages. So inside my site settings here, I can add all of my different details and I can choose which pages to protect. So for example, we protect the dashboard page, which someone gets sent to once they've actually made a purchase of our product. And Fenty integrates with Stripe too, so it's really easy to set up collecting payments. But as you can see, there's a ton of different components that you can use from lots of different form inputs, from updating your password, forgetting password, and of course, sign up and login, to even some more powerful stuff where I could add in to display data on my canvas of say a user's name. We can even integrate our Fenty site with a tool like Zapier to set up automation. So maybe when someone signs up for my product, I can automate that to go into my mailing software to send them an email. We can integrate with Rewardful so I can make sure that my users can join my affiliate program. Or if you use Intercom to manage your support, you can actually use Fenty to integrate into Intercom there as well. Now, this is just one example of what you can create with Fenty, but people are creating things like membership platforms, courses, basically mini SaaS companies based off the Fenty infrastructure. Really cool plugin that adds next level functionality to your Framer site. And they're the 10 Framer plugins I will not live without. If you've got any other more recommendations for me or our community, make sure to drop them in the comments below. And if you want more Framer tutorials, make sure to subscribe to the channel because every single week we're dropping some new videos. And if you are interested in any of the plugins featured in this video, I'll make sure to include a link to them all down below. But until next time, I'll catch you later.